Hello guys and welcome to today's episode where today as you can see from the title and the thumbnail I wanted to explain where I was these past few days obviously I didn't upload for about two days I believe it was uh, and I just wanted to tell you a short explanation towards where I was and what I did so basically my dad was uh, pretty sick he had some issues with his back he had back pain and he had to go to immediate surgery he had to go to the hospital and so therefore I decided to go with him because it was a long Long way away it is about seven to eight hours away and so I decided to um, go ahead and go with him just so he isn't all by his own and so I decided to go with him with my uh, little sister and so we went to the hospital and they told us first he had to do some sort of scan uh, to see what exactly was going on and so then they told him you would have to do a immediate surgery or you could stay like that for the next five years and uh, just lay on your bed for the next five years and so he decided to do the surgery obviously so the next day he was on surgery he did the surgery everything went well um, so do not worry about that I was at my grandma's and my grandpa's place and so I didn't have a PC or a laptop or something like that which included the uh, softwares I obviously used to record uh, basically reflector 2 and video pad for um, the actual editing and so I could not record and edit any videos so I had pre-made two videos I don't know why uh, in case of I don't know we had um, holidays for about a week and so I had made more videos in the holidays and so uh, that happened so I had two videos to upload obviously but then after that for two days that was the weekend obviously I did not have enough videos to upload and I couldn't upload for two days and so I am very sorry but that is basically the explanation of uh, where I was basically just to sum it up I was in the hospital with my dad and he did a surgery on his back everything went well he is fine now he uh, has no pain whatsoever and so now I am back at home now I can make more videos but uh, also a short announcement I may be taking breaks off of Monday so basically Monday I may not be uploading any video I do need a break in a week it is just it's a little too much making seven videos in a week it is basically every single day and I do not have a break so I think I will be taking a break off of Mondays uh, just because Monday is a day which everyone hates you know that uh, Monday you have to go to school and all of that stuff and uh, it's just not a nice day and so I think I'll be taking a break off of Mondays hope you guys can understand and uh, if I do feel better then I will start making more videos also on Mondays but anyways that is the explanation also summed up and so yeah now let's just go ahead and check out some replays obviously you guys have been seeing some replays in the background this whole time but I just wanted to go through this strategy so basically this strategy is a pretty good farming strategy now this is not a strategy which you will be winning with I have been having so many losses with this strategy but that is okay because I was in Masters League and I actually wanted to drop because there was no loot whatsoever up in Masters League so I dropped with this farming strategy because you can farm with this strategy and you also drop trophies so that was really useful for me and so I would recommend this strategy this strategy it basically includes giants wizards minions wall breakers let's just go back to base and see what this strategy is all about so I obviously also have it in my army camps now this is the army I used 10 giants 10 wall breakers 8 wizards 10 minions I don't know why I have 8 minions it's because of the barbarians let's remove uh, what are they we need 49 barbarians not 53 so here we go 49 and then also um, two more minions let's just wait for them and uh, yeah basically what this army is it is 10 giants 10 wall breakers 8 wizards 8 minions, 49 barbarians and 49 archers. Now the archers and the barbarians are obviously just for cleanup uh, in behind of the uh, giants basically and also the wizards and now the cleanup for um, basically if you don't get the 50% which most of the time you won't get uh, you will be taking the minions and where there is a cannon for example and no archer tower or um, any sort of air defense you will be deploying your uh, minions to get some more percentages but let's go ahead and actually check out another replay and at the end of this episode I will be doing a live attack so let's go ahead in my attack log as you can see I have been losing quite a bit but the loot is quite okay I mean this raid was not good I know that but uh, here right here for example 313,000 gold and 275,000 elixir that is pretty good let's actually go ahead and check out the first replay if my Wi-Fi wants to connect I don't think it wants to connect let's just go ahead and see what is going to happen so uh, I'll probably be right back once this fixes okay so we are back guys and this is the attack I wanted to show you so as you can see this guy has quite a bit of loot and this is a pretty good raid as you will see we will be losing this raid but we will get all of the loot so that is good that was that is what we are here for 
obviously we are here for the loot and not for the trophy so let's go ahead and see what we are doing so basically up here i dropped a single giant and some archers and uh, about two barbarians i think let's just speed this up okay no so as you can see here the pumps were on the outside of the base so i didn't have to use any giants or uh, minions or something like that to tank for the um, rest of the archers and barbarians and so here on these um, sort of places where there are more defenses you will be deploying a single giant and then some archers and barbarians obviously in behind as you can see right here this is what i mean some uh there are some defenses here so you will be deploying a single giant or two giants it doesn't really matter uh so the wizards or the archers depends on what you use will be able to clean up so as you can see if i don't put a giant that wizard tower will take out my archers and so i won't be getting this whole gold storage gold collector sorry and uh, let's see what i am going to be doing here so we have a single giant up here I don't know what he is doing, so this giant is going to go down really fast, Wallbreaker is going in and we have a single wizard taking out that elixir collector which it obviously did take out, deploying the rest of our giants and a single wizard to take out that uh, gold, gold mine, sorry, I don't know why but I always keep saying gold storage. I don't know why I say storage, I'm uh, really, I, I just, I have no idea, I mean obviously these are storages and these right here, or these right here, sorry, these are mines, uh, but anyways, this is going to be the end of this replay and so as you saw, the main thing you want to do is deploy a single giant on the place where there are many defensive structures and then obviously some archers, some barbarians and some wizards in behind, obviously you can also drop minions, whatever you want to, you can swap out the minions for some more wizards or for some more barbarians and archers, I don't know, whatever you think and uh, whatever you think is best obviously, let's go back to base and actually do a live attack. So as you can see, I have my army ready right here, so uh, it is the exact same army, also I forgot to mention I use 4 earthquake spells to open up a place if I am going for the dark elixir, then I have a single heal spell for my giants and a uh, raid spell for my barbarians and archers when they are in the center, because it is absolutely insane when they rage up, they just go mad, they go ham on the base. And that is really awesome, we have a golem in the clan castle, in the clan castle you can have anything you want to, it doesn't really matter, uh, I mainly don't use the clan castle, I mainly use the clan castle for defense, even if it is a golem it will slow down those uh, troops when they attack the golem, but anyways with that being said let's go ahead and actually find a base. Now I am actually searching for dark elixir, as you saw a moment ago my queen was down and uh, she was upgrading, going to level 29 so I am really hyped about this. And so as you can see, this is a really good base, a really good example of uh, using the earthquake spells. And so let's go ahead and do this. So why am I attacking this base, you may ask? This base has loads of Dark Elixir, almost 3,000 Dark Elixir. I'm not quite sure if we will be getting everything, but I think we are going to be going from the top of the base um, because there are two uh, Dark Elixir storages right there, Dark Elixir um, drills, sorry. Not storages, obviously, um, but yeah, let's go ahead and actually deploy the earthquake spell. So one, two, three, four, and there we go. That opened up this uh, compartment right there, and let's go ahead and deploy some giants. So I'm not quite sure if he has a clan castle, but if he does, we obviously have a poison spell, so that is good. Let's go ahead and actually deploy all of our giants right here. Deploying some wall breakers in over there, and deploy some uh, wizards on the outside structures. So everything goes in the center. Let's drop a heal spell because that bomb tower and the wizard tower, they are doing some damage, some mad damage. Let's drop some more barbarians and some archers on the outside of the base so um, the rest of the units can actually go into the center. So as you can see, if I deploy all of my barbarians and all of the archers, they will be going in the center. Let's drop the wizards, let's drop the king and let's drop a raid spell right about now. Let's drop a poison spell um, in the center, why not? We don't have another heal spell, so that is not good because of that wizard tower. That is going to be a little bit of damage. Let's see, can our king do any sort of damage to that Dark Elixir storage? Not quite sure, not quite sure. Uh, let's see, we have loads of archers and wizards. Are they going to be able to take out that Dark Elixir storage? I don't think so. This is not really going as planned, so this is not really a good example of what I actually meant. And we have a golem in the clan castle, which obviously... We won't really need, um, because we can't really do anything with that golem. What do we have here? We have a single earthquake spell. That is not going to help us at all. Let's surrender, but uh, it was a close call. It was a close attack. Not quite sure why that didn't work out. Uh, maybe we should switch up the rage spell for the heal spell. Not quite sure. Let's go back to base and see what we could actually do. So um, I think we will be doing another live attack and we will actually take out the rage spell and put in another heal spell just to heal up those um, barbarians and archers in the center because they get targeted by mortars, by wizard towers and all of that stuff. 
and that is obviously not good so let's go ahead remove the actual raid spell deploy another heal spell and let's go ahead and train up the exact same army let's go into quick train and actually train the exact same um what is it the exact same army composition let's remove that uh, raid spell and so deploy another heal spell right here and so wow okay okay this was weird you saw that glitch happening again even though uh, the spell actually dragging thing has been fixed I don't know what that was, but anyways, this is going to be another live attack. This is going to take about 24 minutes to do, but that is okay. So, I'll be right back with you guys once I have my next live attack, and uh, yeah, stay tuned. Okay, so guys, as you can see, we are ready for our next and final live attack. So here we go, this is the exact same army, besides the fact that instead of the raid spell, we are taking the heal spell. So let's have a look and see if this is going to go any better. Obviously, if you have your Archer Queen, it is going to go much better because the Archer Queen does loads of damage. But let's actually go ahead and find a base and see what sort of damage we can do. So here again, we are finding a base with Dark Elixir, loads of Dark Elixir, and we will have to break through those walls. So let's actually do this. Let's uh, have a look at these uh, Earthquake spells, so where should we drop them? I think I am going to be dropping them right about here. I think here will be a Tesla, not quite sure though, but I think there will be a Tesla. Anyways, let's go ahead and deploy the Giant. So, where is the Clan Castle actually? So the Clan Castle is over here. Let's drop a single Giant to see if there are any Clan Castle troops. I don't think there are any, but if there are, so I don't think there are any. I think the Giant was in range of the Clan Castle, but I don't think there are any Clan Castle troops. So that is good for us, let's drop all of our giants right here, in a nice spreaded orb order, obviously. Let's drop the wizards in behind, that was way too tight, I shouldn't have uh, deployed the wizards in such a tight order. Let's drop the first heal spell right here, giant bomb, and uh, obviously the wizard tower will do a lot of damage to my troops. Where is our king? Here he is, deploying him in the center of the base. Let's deploy some more barbarians and some more archers, let's deploy some random wall breakers right here. And so let's drop a poison spell in the, uh, well actually we don't really need the poison spell. We are going to be deploying another heal spell right now where the bomb tower is and all of that stuff, the mortars. And so let's drop the rest of our archers and barbarians and see if this is going to be going any better. So as you can see there is the bomb tower in the center with some uh, mortars. And so as you can see now we have reached the center and my barbarian king with some more troops will be getting that dark elixir. So that is really good. This worked out better as you can see. So um, I would recommend two heal spells actually and do not use a raid spell even though it is really fun when you rage up those barbarians and the archers it is not really that useful as you saw from these two replays uh, the first replay doesn't, didn't really go that well this replay uh, on the other hand went really well so our barbarian king was battling the enemy barbarian king our barb king went down but that is okay let's see if we can actually grab that 50% I don't really need it but in case you guys want that 50% this is what the minions are used for, so let's drop in another minion right over here. Let's drop another minion, where should we drop another minion? Over here, I don't think the Archer Queen is in range. She is in range, wow, okay. You know what we are going to do? We are going to be doing something cheeky. Let's drop a single poison spell, and hopefully we can kill off that Archer Queen. So, let's have a look at the Archer Queen. Is her health going to go any further down? I'm not quite sure if we are going to be able to kill her. Hopefully we are able to kill her. I think we will be able to kill her. Let's see, she has solo health, so there she goes. Goodbye, Archer Queen. So, we can drop some more minions. Obviously, we are up to 45% damage. Let's drop a mother, another minion on that Builder's Heart. And we have 30 seconds left in this raid, 48% damage, I think we will be getting this 50%, let's drop some more minions over here, just to take out that barracks more fast, uh, faster, sorry, and so there we go, 50%, in case you guys wanted to get the 50% as well, there you go, easy 50%, 53% actually, so that was no problem whatsoever, let's just surrender right there, 2.2 thousand Dark Alexa, that's what we were there for, 53% one star, so that is good in case you guys want to have the win, let's return back to base, and uh, I don't think we can have upgrade any wall whatsoever with 700,000 gold and 700,000 elixir but we got a star bonus of 180,000 each and 800 uh, dark elixir so that is good I'm happy about that let's press ok and guys I will have to end the episode here we don't really have anything else to do in this episode so I really do hope you enjoyed this episode if you did please do make sure to smash that like button also comment down below 
which one of these attacks you preferred most and if you have a attack strategy that is even better than this attack strategy if you do please do make sure to let me know down below in the comment section i will make sure to respond to every single comment and uh, yeah i basically hope you enjoyed this episode and uh, if you haven't already please do make sure to subscribe to my channel for daily content and with that being said i'll see you next time guys peace out